my channel. You know, it's a girl, Jamila Charm. Mm -hmm. Anyways, you know, Valentine's are just around the corner from now, and I decided that I'm going to do a little Valentine's look for all my girls out there who want to put up for the man and thing and thing and thing. But yeah, let me go do to them. So let's get into the video and start the look. into the video and start a look the face already done it's already laid the foundation is laying already so i'm going to do something to my eyes and cheeks and everything else so but that no all right guys for something i did not do i think i want to base my eyelids a little bit more so the color can be more bright and more vibrant so i'm gonna base it with some concealer and fall back again So lids are based now, so I'm gonna go in with the I think I'm using the James Starks palette today. Yeah. So hmm. To me, Valentine's like a mixture between red and pink. A mixture between I can maybe use the two palettes them. Yeah, because this is more warm tone. The, the fierce by nature. I'm a warm tone person. Yeah. So I can maybe go between the two because this have some that I can use as well as the James Charles so I think I'm gonna start off with this so guys as you can see I started to apply the color to my crease area so all I'm gonna do is just bring it to the crease and bring it off to where the you know the name again to the you know lid to get it blended what you can do is to get like a skin tone color your skin tone color and let's bring it to the edge and just blend that's how you can blend off the eye color and the color you put on your face so guys i'm going to go in with my favorite brush again with a deeper red color red pinkish color i think this is like um raspberry flavor Ra flavor i'm thinking about food again this is raspberry um a raspberry color So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get the black, not black, I'm going to get brown, like a dark brown, to go in extreme crease here. You know, dark look depth, and then things there, you know. So, look there, you saw them something they were going right this way, watch them. And again, guess what I'm going to do? Go in again with the raspberry color over it. Alright guys, now that everything is nice and blended, what I want to do, uh, instead of leave in here light, what I'm going to do is go in with a uh, light pink, either light pink to white, not really white, you know, like very light color. So yeah, so I found two pinks in the James Charles, let me show you. So guys, I'm going to use these two colors, them two pink here, in the James Charles palette for the inner Eye right here i'm gonna get two fine detail brush to go in that crease yeah all right so what i think i might have to do is to base my eye with a little concealer so it can be wait, 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 let, me let me check first let me check yeah i think i'm gonna base my eyes well so concealer first then go in and do all that craziness I normally do though, blend it with my fingers because your hand creates natural heat that allows the product to melt on swimmingly, you know? Yeah, this is why a lot of people use their hand to do their makeup. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with the a pink color, a bright pink color. I need a different brush guys for the inner part so with the light pink now I'm going to go into the extreme corner
guys so what i'm going to do i'm going to go dark at the edges and lighter in the corner so with this detailed brush i'm going to go back in with the raspberry color to the end here i think that's where i'm going to leave it and i want the let me see which color more i use on the other side I don't want to use a light light color. I want to use like, the pink color in the here. So I'm gonna go in with that brush to get that like, pink, that hot pink color, right in here. You know, count like one color now, like the same color. So what I'm going to do now is to go in with my flare off brush. I'm not really the flare off brush because that's not the brush that has the light pink i'm gonna go with the light pink underneath now to blend everything out to the outside skin so here see so it's blend out so so it's a look not finished though it's not finished you know you know what you need some little highlight right in the corner yes sir and we take my button some wing pan into and then my button lash melt and lash until last i'm gonna do the eye first but but I'm gonna go with like a highlight on the inside part this one because I can't, I can't leave it so so I'm going in with the um what is the name sub zero in the Fenty Beauty palette that I got from Nelly B yeah I was a short road so I'm gonna go in with the sub zero out of the Fenty palette for that you know <clears throat> the inner Maybe there's a teared up corner of the eye. I think I drop out to the fall because I'm dig it out. So, right in here, so. Yeah, right in here, so I want it. Alright, so what am I going to do now? I'm going to go in with the eyeliner, clip under my eye, and fold back. Alright guys, I just did the eyeliner. What I realized when I'm doing the eyeliner, I think I want something underneath to connect it. And it just look kind of dead, boring without the dark underneath. So I'm gonna take like um a black or a brown to put an inner part of my eyelid. So I got my brush. I'm going in with a dark brown for my lower lash line. It's my top box. It sounds so boring again. So guys, this is the vibe I have for my Valentine's makeup look. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and get back to you. Guys, this is the look, the eye look that I have so far. Both eyes are done. So what right now? I'm gonna just do my cheeks and my contour and show you what I'm gonna do with it. I'm right. still gonna do that contour to this one. You can put up for your Valentine's and ting and ting and ting and ting and ting. Not true, I'm not my lashes them yet. I'm not my mascara yet. I'm not the last, like the finish, the final product, the reveal, and everything. You guys interested in um contour, by the way? I don't know. You need to tell me. If my waste my time for showing a contour and I'm so good. I'm so pretty in it like that. So like doing the blue button nose thing where we get under here and the one little line up here it can it kind of cute get a different look you know so what i normally do when i do nose contour i know you guys more see this more than one time i go over with a bigger brush with a more powder so you can blend it out a bit more naturally and for just one crease this one line Shut it down. All 
right, what I'm gonna do. Oh, I need to hide. Um, what's up, name again? Um, blush. So what am I gonna know differently? I have a contour in this part. Is that is that known in brand? Yeah. So um what I'm gonna do is to get the let a bright pink-ish color to go right up here to my yeah, right this one. I need another area and so it come out. So I get blending with a contour, but you know. So that's I'm gonna leave it. I'm going to I'm not finished yet. I'm going to go in and bake also because I'm coming out of baking and baking give you a snatched look. So I'm kind of want to snatch today for Valentine's. I don't want to just basic. So I'm gonna bake. I can show you how I bake and then I'm gonna do my lashes off camera. Oh so guys, I'm going with the ear spawn. I'm naturally neutral loose powder for um the Bacon. I love how this product smells. Like, honestly, it has a um baby. Nothing not for say. It just smells really nice. Every time you smell clients, them them just say, "Oh my gosh, that smells so yummy." I wish I could smell. It smells so good. So I'm going to go in with the and call them brush again. The wedges, little um square wedges, for my um baking needs yeah what i like to do when i'm baking i like to pack some of the products to my hand because i know it's i don't need a heavy bake it can be a little very light minimal baking so i like to just pat it in like that i want to pat it to my nose so i can snatch my nose a little bit yeah so up to there that's how far i want it to go make it make it shake it shake and bake it Team, just like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bake it until I finish putting on my lashes, and then afterwards I'm going to put on my highlights. Highlight is a must. It's, an, it's a necessity to highlight. So do it there, to here. What baking does it actually helps anywhere that have like creasing issues. So if you are a person that creases a lot. It comes in the ears that you crease before. I don't usually bake. Um, once, once in a while, I'm gonna bake. Why I don't like to bake sometimes? It gives me a dry, dry, dry look. Give me a dry look. All right, no, my skin not out, not at all. So, is this the best idea? I'm not 100 percent sure until more it all. So hopefully, it's not too bad. Some people like to bake under here. I can even do a little bit under there. A little bit, just right here. So guys, I'm gonna do my lashes off camera and check in back with you. Guys, this is the final look. Take it in, take it in, take it in. Like quite look. Well, come out ready for my dates for Valentine's Day. Tim, I'm ready for the Valentine's date. Like, babe, can we go out now? Can we? All right, you want to go in? Yeah, you want to stay in? <laughs> you want to stay in for this Valentine's? I want to go on a date with me. Mm -hmm. Anyways, guys, I'm wearing another B on my lips, I'm wearing this color. This one with lined with um lip liner, brown lip liner. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you guys checking in. Thank you again for watching my video. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Comment your favorite part for Valentine's Day. Tell me if you guys going out for Valentine's Day, even though it's a quarantine lockdown type of situation. Are you guys going in? Are you guys going to plan something for Valentine's Day? Are you going to do something for Valentine's Day at home? Are you going to cook dinner at the local station for you and your boo for Valentine's Day and get pretty for them? Hmm? Comment below and let me know what I do for Valentine's Day, alright? Guys, have a good day. Bye!